Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Star UI Inventory, or rather specifically, how I installed it. Star UI Inventory is a wonderful mod created by M8R98A4F2, and it makes your in game inventory look like this. It's super clean, organized, and in my opinion, is a lot better than the base game UI offered by Bethesda Game Studios. Now, the hardest part is actually installing this and getting it to work because I was super frustrated after like an hour of trying to figure it all out while also installing other mods at the same time, which resulted in my game not even starting after a certain point. Thankfully, I had a clean backup without mods, so I didn't have to reinstall the game, and I'm going to show you what worked for me. So, the first step is to make sure Starfield isn't running, then go to Nexus Mods and download the latest version of Vortex. Vortex is a mod manager program, kind of like how Minion is an add-on manager for World of Warcraft or The Elder Scrolls Online. Once you download it, you can install Star UI inventory pretty easily. We can do this by clicking Get More Mods on the Vortex. And what will happen here is a window will open up um and you can just look for mods now if you have a specific mod you want to look for you can do the search bar star ui click on it and then you just go to files mod manager download because we're using mod manager slow download And then it's going to prompt me to open Vortex. We already have it open. And here we go. It's going to give you a bunch of options here. You just kind of want to leave it be. Uh, obviously, you can go with the 120 FPS for the inventory UI or menus. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because for most people, it might cause issues. I went with the 60 FPS. Mod Manager is Vortex. If you're using Mod Organizer 2, no idea. Star UI inventory. And then we just click on Read Me. And this is basically a list of prerequisites the mod developer wants you to look at. And I'll talk more about this in a bit. You just finished installation. And that's it. Uh, note that you can use Vortex with the Game Pass version of Starfield as well. But instead of, you know, something like, uh, you know, program 86 under the C drive, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Starfield, it's going to be uh c drive xbox games starfield content and of course uh that's where you want to point the vortex manager towards or if you're doing this manually that's where you'll find your files so after you download your vortex make sure it's enabled now this next part is where i got tripped up you have to do what's called archive invalidation and it's pretty straightforward uh, uh at least on paper you just need to copy paste this block of text um, under the archive section in your Starfield INI files that you can find in uh, either the document sub, uh, subfolder or the uh, actual game subfolder uh, with a couple extra steps. And theoretically, it should be working, but I had issues with it. And what I did was instead, as recommended by the description page on Star UI, I just went with the installation of Bethany Pi Performance in Editor. Um, and it's just another program that lets you modify the INI settings uh, with an interface rather than through document text. All you have to do is download it. And then after you download it, it will open up and it will ask you which game you want to go with. And obviously we want to go with Starfield here, not Fallout 4 or Skyrim. And then once you select it, it'll ask you for the game path, the INI path and so forth. It should be automatically set. Uh, and you just press OK, and this will pop up. Now, it's intimidating at first glance because, oh my goodness, there's a lot of options and so forth. Uh, this is for later when you want to look it over carefully and see if you want to change anything uh, with the game without going into all these uh, text files I have up on my screen uh, right here. Right, so it's, 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 it's a little less complicated. Um, after you do this, you don't have to do anything at all once you launch Bethany. In fact, you're done. No need to make an INI file. No need to modify an existing one. Uh, you're done. The nice thing about the Bethany Pi is that it will work 
with other mods that require similar steps to star UI inventory. So in my opinion, it's nice to grab anyway as a time-saving, uh, you know, investment. After that, you can uh, launch your game, load up a save or whatever you want to do. And after you load in, your inventory should look like this. Very clean, much more organized. And this will work for, you know, a trade menu with your companion and the merchant menus. Now, if this method that worked for me does not work for you, you can look into the manual installation method. And the instructions for that is located on the Star UI inventory description page, along with another linked YouTube video from a different creator covering how to do so. Hopefully this video helps some of you out there. Thank you for watching and see you guys out in the Starfield.